Do you know an easy way I can track who's citing my work? Yes. Google Scholar. If you already have a Google account, you can log into Google Scholar and set up my citations. This will let you see who is citing you and track your citations over time. That sounds like just what I need. Just keep in mind that it's not perfect. Google may assign citations to you that are not yours, and it can only track what it has access to. There are still many databases that do not allow Google to index them. You'll want to double check with your librarian for accuracy. Can you show me how to set it up? Yes. To create your citations page, go to Google Scholar and click on My Citations in the upper right hand corner. If you don't have a Google account, you'll have to create one to use this feature. Once you sign in, you'll be taken through the steps to create your profile. In this case, we're setting up an account for Chris Kretz. Once you're signed in, you'll need to put in your name as you would want it to appear in Google Scholar results. You can also fill in your affiliation and an email address if you didn't give it one when you created your account. In this case, the affiliation is Dowling College. You also have a choice to add areas of interest in terms of your research. And then click on Next Step. Google Scholar will automatically fill in an author search for you and will also list citations that it thinks might be yours. Go through the list of article groups and for those that are yours, click Add. In this case, you can see there's one article that does not belong to our Chris Kretz. Once you've added the articles, the next step will be determining how Google will update your profile. It's generally best to just let it automatically update the list of articles. Now that the profile is configured, you'll see your citations page. You can choose to make your profile private so that only you have access to it, or you can make it public so that it could show up in Google Scholar results. On this page, you'll see your list of articles. You can delete articles, or you can merge duplicate articles. When you merge them, you'll be given the choice to select which is the better citation. You can see how often your articles have been cited within the past five years. And in the citation list, you'll also see how often each particular article has been cited. If an article of yours is not listed there, you can manually add additional articles. To see which articles have cited yours, you would click on the number in the Cited By column. And then you'll get the list of citations. You can use this list to download those that you'd like to read yourself or simply to verify that they have indeed cited your particular article.